Hello gorgeous Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you at this time. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. And be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign or a symbol or something may really resonate for you on one of the cards. Take notice of that because there's a message there direct from spirit to you. So it may provide some guidance and answer to a question perhaps. So keep your mind open. Let's take a look at these two cards. Well, this is a beautiful card to receive to start off with. Joy and stability. Gorgeous challenging times interesting um, interesting cards to receive so beautiful energy of joy and stability but you are surrounded by challenging times so you have your protective shield up and you're not afraid to stand your ground and spirit is telling me that there's there may be there may be a potential for a heated exchange it may be part of the environment that you're in or maybe a once off. It's going to be different for everybody, of course. But Spirit wants you to know that you can channel this light. You can channel joy, stability. You will have joy and stability if you open up to this vibration. So even though we have challenging times around you, some conflict, some disturbed energy, chaos energy, or irritating energy or whatever this challenge is for you and you're going to know exactly what this is of course spirit wants you to know yes this is an acknowledgement of the challenge but you have joy and stability in some way coming through as well and they want you to know that and to be hopeful for that and have faith for that because it is on the way Let's take a look at this deck of cards, Aquarius. Guidance for Aquarius. The Sacral Chakra. And this card here. The Third Eye Chakra. Okay, so this week is all about these two chakras. You can meditate on these chakras. You can have a focus and an intention to clear these chakras, to activate these chakras, do some chakra work. That's what Spirit is saying when chakra cards show up in the reading. So the Sacral Chakra, I'm seeing that if you have been uh, blocked creatively, um, this is the uh, this is the time to release that energy. So creativity and expansion in that way can flow through your life. And the third eye chakra, if you've been feeling blocked, not able to see clairvoyantly um, or accessing your intuition, receiving messages from spirit in an open way, it's time to focus on the third eye chakra. So these things can come into balance when these chakras are addressed and worked on. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look at this deck of cards here, Aquarius. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. What do we have here? Intimacy. And we also have the second chakra, yes. So the second chakra is the sacral chakra. So this one here is vitally important for you to have an intention toward, have a focus on. Okay, so the second chakra. The energy of the sacral chakra helps us to navigate our lives through our emotions and supports our ability to enjoy the sensual world. So those two aspects of self will become more balanced when uh, this chakra is activated, when it's working to the fullest. And that's what spirit wants for you. So definitely a focus on the second chakra this week. And the color is orange. You may feel like you're wanting to wear orange, to have orange around you. Orange crystals can work with you um, to help support this energy. 
intimacy. The energy of intimacy supports us trusting that we are safe and allow closeness. So allowing closeness, um, a connection can grow stronger by allowing intimacy, by choosing it. And so you can you can choose it this week consciously if you want to. That's the message here. You can choose to develop intimacy with someone or not. It's really up to you. But the opportunity is there. Whether you are, it might be romantic int- intimacy for some. All right, let's see here. Guidance here, please, for Aquarius. This card, Cosmic Flower, beautiful. And we also have the Solar Plexus Chakra. Okay, so we have another chakra energy here, and it's yellow. So yellow crystals. Um, Working with this chakra is going to bring a lot of benefit. The Solar Plexus, this is about willpower. The frequency of the Solar Plexus Chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So um, if you're wanting clarity on what your contribution is to the whole, um, the whole of your community or your life, um, your relationships, then this is the chakra to, to focus on. Okay, so you actually have a few here. So we have the definitely the sacral chakra and then the solar plexus and the third eye. Those those ones here are coming up. It's very important. Now, the cosmic flower energy, the frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. So going back to home, going back to where you called home or where you are calling home, your home, your environment, where you feel comfortable. You might be just setting that up for yourself at the moment, which is supported by spirit. It might be more an act of healing, going back into these environments and healing some energy perhaps. There is also an energy here of connecting into the cosmic wavelength to bring you out of the physical the mundane and to gain greater perspective on your life or on a particular area of your life you have the ability to gain greater perspective connecting into the cosmos guidance for Aquarius Guidance for Aquarius. All right, let's take a look what we have for you here. The Queen of Autumn, beautiful. The keywords here are thoughtful, caring, creative, which is wonderful because we have you embodying creativity here, which means the activation of your sacral chakra will happen. Ingenious. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. I feel you as quite a nurturer in this card. This is, of course, a queen. It's a feminine energy and it's the nurturer. So I do sense that you're going to have a sense of nurturing or guidance toward others this week in a thoughtful and caring way. So that's really beautiful. Okay, let's see. We have the five of winter. Your current path isn't leading you toward the happiest possible outcome. So why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agendas of others. So there may be a hidden agenda that someone is carrying out. Um, If that's the case, I do feel that you will already have an intuition about this. You'll always have, um, you, you've, or, you've already had um, a feeling, a gut feeling about this and just follow that instinct and what your heart is telling you to do about this. 
you may be looking for an for an alternative with something you're looking for an alternative and I sense you're going to find it. I really do. I sense you're going to find this Aquarius, this alternative, whatever it is for you, you're going to find it. Okay, so we have the Ace of Autumn, beautiful. You can expect a windfall of abundance such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting or rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. This is a huge windfall. Okay, the Ace of Autumn, Ace of Pentacles, a huge windfall coming your way very soon. You're going to either see it this week or in the weeks to come. A huge windfall. Now, this may be financial for you. For you, It may be financial. It might be material in another way. But it might come through in an unexpected way. All right. So this, uh, this miracle, this blessing, this windfall uh, may come through in an unexpected way. Um, exactly what it is, how it how it turns out, um, what it is. So just keep an open mind, connect into the cosmic mind to broaden your horizons and you may begin to get a glimpse of what is in store for you, what beautiful blessings are in store for you here. The Prince of Spring. An opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Something you can't ignore. This is a fast paced um, energy. So you're going to hear something or you get told to do something, perhaps in the work environment, for example. And it just grabs your attention and you need to take action straight away. So that's something to be aware of that will be around you in the week ahead. Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. So this is not going to overwhelm you, which is a great thing to see. It's not going to overwhelm you. And the keywords here are passionate, charismatic, confident, but perhaps a little bit restless this week as well. The seven of winter, beautiful energy here, because what I'm seeing with this card is that you are gathering up, gathering up some things, uh, your possessions, perhaps you're moving, perhaps you're gathering up or you're saving for something, um, you're looking forward to something that's coming up over the next few weeks gathering your energy your reserves up perhaps let's see what the message is on the card caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables including uh, non-material resources such as time or peace of mind so just be aware of that as well if someone you know if you're feeling someone is just trying to, to take advantage of you um Make sure you don't have any loss. Um, just be aware of these things. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So that's also important to note. Um, I feel that with the activation of these chakras, if anyone is doing or any any entity, energies, people, circumstances are not in alignment with you and your activated chakras, you're going to have um, an awareness of this. It's not going to pass you by. Beautiful energy of a windfall, a beautiful blessing coming through. Keep a lookout for that. Have an expectation of that. You have a nurturing energy here. You're standing strong. Lots of positive energies um, and a few cautionary um, measures as well have shown up for you. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. It's been a pleasure to read for you today. If you have liked the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support of my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.